everyone welcome back for more exo series content today's video we're going to talk about fc valentina her stats strengths and weaknesses her skills playability and especially her recommended guardian stones we're going to talk about her synergy with other heroes her overall rating and my final thoughts of her but before that if you want to see more exo series content please hit the subscribe button down below so here we are at uh, FC Valentina's hero profile. So she's called the trickster for for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, her nation is North One Frosty. She's the daughter of Shufraken. Her element is Frost. Her position is Chaos and her attack type is Magical. So she is also a Gold Fate Core. So she's really actually hard to get. And uh, let's move on to her strengths and weaknesses so for FC FC Valentina's strengths so she has above average attack above average dodge and high critical hit while she, her average stats is hit while on the other hand her weakness is she has low HP she has low defense low block and low attack speed in other words, she is a glass cannon. She packs a punch, but she is, is easily killed. So again, we'll discuss more on what are the recommended team comps to build around her. So for her skill preview, so let's talk about her passive. So she has mana absorb three, um, but as a FC from the Summer Festa, she gets flap flap and Summer's Blessing as well. So, so for Flap Flap, um, this is a modification that she imbues to her enemy. So it's applied with each valid attack. So for three turns. And Summer's Blessing is, just to sum it up, she, is, she and her, and her uh, teammates are immune to Frost for one turn. So after, after, for example, the immunity is gone, um, it grants the whole team an attack of attack increase by 50% for 9 turns. Okay, so this is the usual standard um, passive added to, to Summer Festa units. But for her S1 and S2, so we'll start with her S1. So for her S1, this is the standard skill um, with her original form. But uh, for her FC form, she is she adds contempt so mana burn uh, to all enemies aff afflicted with fear of the abyss. So she needs um, Shufraken for this one. So target uh, if the target is afflicted with fear of the abyss and bind all enemies for seven turns. Meaning, if you attack a enemy that has fear of the abyss. Um, that enemy and all of the team members will be binded for seven turns, meaning um, uh, all their mana will will be gone. So mana burn will happen for 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 ten mana. So if that player is a max of ten, so that all of those ten mana will be gone, and this is applied for seven turns. So let's move on to our S two. So it's the same damage, it's 525 damage to one enemy, so it's Seductive Cage of Despair. So it's this, it has the same um, passive added to it uh, effect. Uh, no, actually it's same, same added effect for the skill as her S1, so it's also Contempt. So Mana Burn and this also requires Shufraken for it to be activated. So my take on, on, um, on Valentina is her regular form is really not not that good um, if you have her regular form without her fc form she does not really um, um, play well in terms of your team i i would not recommend bringing her original form but for her SC, fc form um the team comp that i have in mind uh would would uh, make her the centerpiece because for her to thrive in a team she would have to be protected by a couple of members of that team so um, she is she has one of the one of the best 
actually end game skills um, that I have seen in terms of um, in, ter in terms of making sure that in just one skill with a couple of setups along the way you can defeat your enemies all of them and I'm, I'm, I'm not just saying one but uh, all five of them so just a friendly reminder guys uh, if you like this video and you would like to support my channel please hit the subscribe button down below as for Valentina's playability so for PvP she is mostly used in tag um, she's rarely used uh, during PvP uh, but in PvP tag she's usually used on the second team I myself use her there so she is I, I built my my PvP tag team with her and I, I and around her is Lepin, Shufraken, Garf and Dorka that's my second PvP team and um, um, it's it's very good actually it's a it's a setup team which what, what I mean by setup is um, you set up uh, your attack for Valentina that she hits and that she mana burns the whole team in the opposite side so that's a setup so it incorporates a lot of survivability in terms of you have their Garf you have their Dorka, you have their Lepin. So Shufraken is there just to give a Fury the Abyss and to sweep off um, enemies which have low HP. So again, she's very good in PvP tag. Uh, for for PvP, sh um, I can I can also use her there, but um, I would suggest that you use her for tag because there are there are better teams. Um, uh, other than using her because again when you're using Valentina you require a lot of setup in terms of defeating the other the other team so you need to for example if there's Summer's Blessing you need, you need to take that out you need to you need to make sure that she survives and she deals her S2 or S1 skill for Madam Bird so Again, um, the best way to use her in PvP is uh, tag uh, PvP. So for PvE, so she's good in uh, the airship battle. Uh, sorry, in, in, in the squadron battle. Uh, she is also good in your chapters. She's good in finishing them. Recently, I've used her in Infinity Core. So she's also good uh, in one of the stages. And uh, I also was um, shocked that that I did use her in New Pierce Lab. She was one of the she was one of the easy easy clears for one of the bosses. I actually forgot which one, but uh, she can be used in New Pierce Lab. So for um, FC Valentina's recommended Guardian Stones, there are only two two choices for her so for her equipment set effects the first one is nature because it gives her dodge and when you awaken the same set effects she will be given hp bonuses the max is plus 2000 and dodge bonuses the max is plus 12 but my most recommended one if you have it is fire so fire in terms of equipment set effects so she'll be given a maximum damage reduction for a full set which is plus 20 percent but when you awaken her with the fire uh, fire uh, guardian stones the full set you'll be given plus 5000 hp and that's a lot for her survival survivability so um Again, the key for for her for for FC Valentina is to survive, for her to unleash her S2 or S1, because again, sh her attack speed is not that. No, she, she's one. She's the slower in, in in the slower spectrum of attack speed. So, she she might go last or probably fourth 
in terms of your hero rot rotation so she needs to survive until then As for her synergy with other heroes, so as for her synergy with other heroes, so she is ideally paired with heroes with provoke skills, so that um, attacks would be would be. Um, uh, redirected to that defender the other one is uh, she can be paired with heroes that give her HP for additional HP like for example uh, you can pair her with Bathory um, also with Garf as well um, because they give her additional HP also she is also paired with um, heroes with revive so the best would be would I would suggest would be Lepin because Lepin also gives you heal. Aside from heal, she can revive and she also gives uh, a turn reset. So she is a complete utility for this one. And um, for the other one, the other category would be heroes with protect. So the best one again would be Garf. For this one but the other heroes that i've seen with protect 3 are i think it's obelia and giselle and i forgot i actually forgot the other one but they are the other two that can provide her with protect but the most common that is being used is garf to give her protection so again the other alternatives is is, is giselle or obelia for this one and so she needs also, the last um, hero that you should include in her team is a fast frost hero to eliminate Summer's Blessing. Because she cannot deal her S1 or S2 damage with Contempt and Mana Burn if the other team is under Summer's Blessing. So you have to get rid of Summer's Blessing first before you can land her attacks and do Mana Burn with the other team. So again, so if you can see in 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 my screen, so aside from Tantalo, of course, but well, Tantalo can be okay because he provides provoke, but the others are built around her for protection. So again, when you build a team with with Valentina, she is the centerpiece because if you don't build a team around her, um, she is easily killed, even on the first turn. So, um, also, again, I, I forgot to mention, if you, if you want to live, if, if you want to let her live on the first turn, you also add battery to your team because of Tranquil. So, that, that is one of the suggestions as well. Um, there are a lot of people um, uh, that are having a hard time um, working around the... Uh, uh, FC Valentina because she's a what what I call um, in the, my days of playing Magic the Gathering was she she's she belongs to a combo deck so what I what I mean again she requires a lot of setup be, before you deal her final blow but when you deal her final blow it's usually game over so she she she's kind of part of a combo deck so everybody or every every piece in in your team complements her and should complement her because she's the end game so that is how you build a team around her so here we now with our overall rating so the rating system for this is five being the highest and one being the lowest so we begin with her stats so fc valentina is a four for her stats because um, she has decent stats. She has very decent attack. She, you just have to make sure that she survives. So that is where the whole team goes into play and in protecting her. So she has good attack, good dodge, good critical hit. She can deal a ton of damage as long as she survives. So that is why I gave her a 4 for stats. The next would be her playability. So I've tried to 
to test her with a couple of content we did with the last few weeks and I found out that she is capable of of being a all-around all-around uh, um, contributor or hero but again the the um, the her qualifier to be in a team is that Shufraken should be there because if Shufraken is not in, in the team with without uh, fear of the abyss you cannot really use her in any team so again her playability uh, stems from being together with Shufraken in that team and the last is synergy so I would give Valentina a 3 out of 5 because for the reason that um, her synergy with Shufraken is actually a must. They, they are a 1 plus 1 or buy 1 take 1. You cannot, you cannot really play, play Valentina without Shufraken. So that is her crutch. That is her, also her, her advantage. But mainly it limits flexibility in terms of bring of building a team around her as well as let's say for example if, if you build again the same team that I had earlier with Garf with Dorka or with Lepin you strictly have to stick with most of them for her to survive so in terms of synergy it's good that you can surround her with good heroes but what if you don't have those heroes what if you don't have Garf? What if you don't have Shufraken? What if you don't have um, Lepin? So it's really a headache if you don't have them. But if you have them again, you are in a good position to make her succeed. So question, would you need her FC if you have her ready? Yes, definitely. You cannot again play her without her FC. It's impossible. I don't. I don't see a lineup that would fit her if you don't have her FC in her swimsuit. So that's just it. If you don't have her swimsuit on, you cannot really put her or put a team around her. So the last is my final thoughts. So again, I'll just repeat what I said earlier. So she's very reliant on Shufraken and her and her being playable with other heroes for survivability so she's a good character with the right kind of team composition she is a good end game hero uh, but if you don't have those pieces well she's really really bad so again she needs a good supporting cast to stay alive so and pull off her skills because again i wish she is a faster character so that she could attack early on but unfortunately she has low attack speed and again if you really um determined to build her for a a combo deck supposedly she is worth the investment um because once she hits her s1 or s2 with your opponents having fear of the abyss it's really game over you they cannot do anything except basic attack so you could play play around with your opponents but make sure you finish them off so um so that's it for for fc valentina um i think she she she's a good character um just build a good team around her um, and make sure that she uh, she is built well, built to be tough. And that actually concludes my video guys. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Would, do you agree with me? Do you have SC Valentina? Um, what what are your recommended team comps if you have her? So please write them, uh, please comment it down. Um, and uh, I hope you guys try to learn how to combo her with other heroes. And you guys stay safe, always, and I'll see you in the next video. Warden out.